you guys a thousand times I hate them and I keep trying to make them work because I hate spending money on shit and not using it like I was like oh they would go so cute with this ah guess what I can't fucking walk ow what out of the game for talking shit to LeBron James, for talking shit to my fucking husband. This is such fucking bullshit. Listen, let me tell you, LeBron James looked at my husband during the game and cussed him out and I stood up and I go, don't fucking talk to my husband. Talk to my husband one more time and I will fuck you up. And he started fighting with me. He goes, shut your mouth, dumb bitch. And I go, you shut your fucking mouth, bitch. So, I'm minding my own business, and Chris has been a Hawks fan forever. He's been watching the games for 10 years, whatever. He has this issue with LeBron. I don't have an issue with LeBron. I don't give a fuck about LeBron. Anyway, I'm minding my own business, drinking my wine, having fun. All of a sudden, LeBron says something to my husband. And I, and I see this, and I go, I stand up and go, don't fucking talk to my husband. And he looks at me, and he goes, sit the fuck down, bitch. And I go, don't fucking call me a bitch. You sit the fuck down. Get the fuck out of here. And I go, don't fucking talk to my husband like that. Don't talk to my husband. And he literally was like, fuck you, bitch. Sit down, bitch. And all of a sudden, now I'm getting kicked out. Excuse me, I have courtside seats that I pay for. Fuck you, LeBron. You're a fucking pussy. Get the fuck out of here. You're going to let a 25-year-old girl intimidate you during a game? Bye, bitch. Yo, I truly cannot fathom how whack some of you guys are. Like, and... I don't know about you guys, but if my girl was at a game and someone was talking to me and my girl didn't stand up for me, I would kind of reevaluate that relationship. So for all of you clowns saying, your wife's a gold digger, guess what? If I was a gold digger, I would sit back and buy my own fucking beeswax and I wouldn't open my mouth. But guess what? I'm not a gold digger. That's my husband. I love him. 
If someone disrespects him, I will check him, whether it's LeBron James or a fucking bum on the street. I, I think LeBron, obviously you can see he's not that upset about it. I no, think as they're long just as saying, it's nothing yeah, mouth, yeah, yeah, you know, they're malicious. not kicking him out. LeBron, I wanted to get your take or your comment or your perspective on the interaction that occurred with the courtside fans who were kicked out and do you feel like that uh, interaction exposed any sort of loophole in the COVID protocol if fans can take off their masks to yell at a player? No, at the end of the day, that's, uh, I'm happy fans are back in the building. I miss that interaction. I need that interaction. We as players need that interaction. I don't feel like they was warranted to be kicked out. Um, there was a, 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 a you know, a back and forth between two grown men, and, and which, uh, uh, and you know, we said our piece. He said his piece. I said my piece, and then was someone else jumped into it and, and said their piece. Um, but I didn't, I didn't think they were, you know, should have been kicked out. Um, but they might have had a couple of drinks maybe, and they could have probably kept it going, and the game wouldn't have been about the game no more. So, I think the referees did what they had to do. Um, and I, I mean, it's, it's fine. I don't, I don't think. Uh, you know, take it down the mask or whatever the case may be at that point in time, you know, would have harmed anybody but the people that was right next to her. I wasn't close enough to her. I don't think any of my teammates was close enough to them. Uh, maybe a couple of refs, maybe. So I hope they're, I hope they're okay. Um, but, you know, safety first.